Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is a new love opportunity for you Gemini. I hope you are well. This is incoming love opportunity who is going to connect, reconnect for Gemini and a new love opportunity. It's going to be two readings for you today. I hope you are well Gemini friends. This is applicable for singles only. Oh, okay. What is this card? Wow, two of cups. This is good. You've got your full moon, full moon in December 11. Gemini full moon. So that is, I think, a very good full moon for you and for all of us. It gives us, um, you know, some really good clarity of where you want to um, how do we define our relationship with people, friends, family? So that's a really good full moon for you. I'm pretty sure you are affected. There's also some sort of acceptance for you that I'm getting in here, Gemini. So let's look at the card. What's in store for Gemini? Incoming love opportunity, please. Who's going to connect, reconnect for Gemini? Who's going to co connect, reconnect for Gemini? Friends, incoming love opportunity, connection, reconnection. Okay. This is definitely someone you know in the past, all right? Um, this is stalker alert. <laughs> Seven of swords, four of swords. So four of swords speaks to me as being quiet, all right? This person, it's been quiet, it's been aloof or taking a break. Um, they could be traveling, they could be sick. Um, I'm, I'm really getting the word religious journey, all right? Religious journey or it could be a healthy journey. Um, something to do with their quietness, their being aloof or slow progress in terms of communication, reconnection with you. It's about finding journey. It could be something about finding meaning in their life. Okay, it could be religious, health, um, like wellness, all right? But in, in, in a general collective reading, this person, it's powering up, you know, four of swords, powering up, taking enough, rejuvenating, recuperating. It's all about themselves. It's all about healing you know that's that's the main activity that they've been doing in the past okay so they're done with this now they're in seven of swords this is a flip of energy from four quiet to naughty all right seven of swords like oh wow i've got an energy now so who do i look back my gemini because if you look at the card seven seven of swords they're supposed to move on you know from taking a nap they're very happy i don't feel a bad energy about the seven of swords this is them when they woke up I feel so happy. I feel so great. So I've got the seven of swords with me, five of swords. There are two of swords. They're leaving something behind them. It could be past relationship. It could be past hurt. But, you know, after recuperating, they leave something behind and they carry with them the five of swords. This is their thoughts. You know, this is the logic behind why they recuperated. They, you know, they sleep off, power up, and so on and so forth. They're, they're feeling like energetic and happy. They've got some logic sense of um they got some sense of logic from recuperating from you know from resting but if you look at them they're looking they're looking at um the nine of pentacles they're looking back at you so there's a change of mind a change of something to do with i've i've i realized that when we this is the past energy connecting with these four cards so you were good in the past you were really getting along um they break up, they separated. You know, when you finally never communicated with this person or you've given up, I'm really sensing a given up, all right? You've given up with this person, you let them go or, you know, you, you mirror them, you know, it's like, I, I don't want to follow up because you're not re replying, responding to me. I'm hurt, you know, that's what I'm getting from your side, Gemini. So after that quietness between the two of you, the silence between the two of you, Something happened with this person, really, okay? Could be they travel when they come back. This is them. Uh, they're stalking you. They're checking on you. You are nine of pentacles. Finally realizing your value. But they were supposed to step, like, look at this. They're stealing glances of you. So it could be if you work with this person or if, if there's a place or if you're still friends with them in Instagram or social media posts, they're stealing glances on you, okay? This is a very current energy. So after full moon, 11th um, December, they see you possibly somewhere or your social media account where you're so busy. They're still attracted with you, all right? This person, after being silent, um, they're stealing. Yeah, I'm really getting the word. They steal, they check on you. 
and then three of wands they pick up something that they like from your last post or the last news that they got or they hear from the friends because this is planning if you if you look at the trans you know the the um the the, the energy or the transition of the card this is them checking on you this is you not knowingly um you don't know that someone has a plan of attack <laughs> and three of wands and if you look at the color it's all in yellow like it's it's beam it's 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 a light bulb it's like a light bulb this person had a light bulb moment they're about to exit and here you go they had the last look last glance right thank you spirit so they had a last look of you okay and it's kind of let me check what's happening with gemini and then they find or they were attracted to whatever they saw online or they hear from your friends but this is i don't know if you've currently updated the picture in your viber whatsapp um they were you know they were interested with the last update they hear from you thank you spirit so it was a last look and it give them some sort of um, a light bulb moment that, hey, you know, um, I was supposed to move on. But let me try again. Let me try again, Gemini. So, favorite page of cups. So, expect this person to, what's the fish? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, expect this person, for some of you, yeah, expect this person to meet up with you. And again, if you look at the, the color of the card, it's blue. It's all blue, yellow. So there's really a um, a synchronized aura between the two of you. Like your, your aura, your energy of this person is meeting equally. Okay, in the past, you felt like no matter how you want, um, it just doesn't match the availability the time the effort the feelings this time around it's a match because all of the colors to reach out two of cups page of cups it's in blue all right it's blue it's at peace it's i don't say i don't think it's perfect but it's very mild it's very calm okay in the past it was worrying this is very calm and your thoughts make them jump yellow you know so it's 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 like a light bulb so there is a synchronicity for you, Gemini, on why this person is coming now. You would finally understand, oh, well, the past was really crazy. And now there's an opportunity that we could patch things up in a more, I'd say, because Christmas season and New Year, people are more loving, forgiving. It's all about holidays, drinking. So people are, people are more in a good mood. So I'd say this is really a good time. You know, it's a good time for this person to come back, connect or reconnect. So this is really good for you, Gemini. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, J Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. All right. If it's a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, they would say an apology. If it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is really wanting to um, make peace with you in a more diplomatic way like you would have really a very nice conversation it, it's an indirect sorry but um a really got nice flow of conversation you would feel like okay this is the you know this is the compromise uh what cancer scorpio or pisces this is a, this is a cute apology and i miss you apology it's sweet okay um capricorn taurus or a virgo this is i'd say um they would send you a message and they will check your availability. You'll talk about work and time and effort, like, you know, what's happening with your life. It's it's a very mundane or practical stuff that you will talk about. But you would see in their conversation that they're very keen to find out what's happening to your life, which is good because that is showing interest. If it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person is stalk, it will stalk you first before they approach. If it's an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius... This person has a lot of plan. I'm seeing the next three weeks, they've kind of pinned on, pinned down the dates, the time that they will call you. They have a lot of plan and passion, okay? So this is incoming love opportunity for you. Now, let's look at Gemini, um, new love, right? If you don't like someone in your past, let's look at new love scenario. New love opportunity for my Gemini friends. New love opportunity, Gemini.
okay, Gemini, two of pentacles in reverse, knight of wands, nine of wands. So for some of you, be open-minded because there is a voyage, okay? Could you, you could be traveling in a cruise, in a boat, something to do. Excuse me. It's linked with water. It's, it's linked with water. You would find opportunity to meet a person in there. Like this is head turner, head turning. Okay, um, Knight of Wands, be open to meeting interesting link romantic energy in a cruise, in a voyage, in a journey. Uh, it's related to water, all right? Mm. Two of Pentacles, like they would, you would look this, look at this person, or you would feel like someone is looking at you. This is also related to work, or building a house, and also water. I'm getting more. Okay. This is an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Okay, um, Three of Swords. It's a very healing conversation, and um, you feel connected with this person. Um, for some of you, this is an old colleague, um, a friend of a friend, someone connected in your past. Love opportunity. Um, yeah, Be open-minded with a conversation, a good talk with someone you will meet close to water or water event that's water okay voyage um travel all right and then the next um the next four cards um okay so there's gonna be an interesting conversation between you and a person who they're still marriage okay they don't they're very secret about it's a sec the secret it's a secret conversation it's like five of wands there's no argument that this person likes you or you like them, but they're still attached with um, marriage, okay? Um, for some of you, I felt like this already progress. You could date this person in secret or discreet. This person makes you happy, you make them happy, but the thing is, they're still married or um, finalizing a divorce, but they've got baggage, all right? The next love opportunity would have baggage, would have... Like the two of you, no conflict, okay? There's no conflict between the two of you, but it's just they have baggage. They're still connected with an ex-wife, ex-husband, or they haven't sorted out the divorce, all right? So to date this person is to be discreet, okay? Um, like you would have an impression that you won't win in this kind of setup, okay? Five of Wands, um, yeah. So for some of you, um, you would meet someone who is would make you happy someone who is a pro i'm really getting the word pro they know how to flirt they know how to um they know how to date they know how to make conversation because they've been married okay so i felt like you're hesitant you felt like you don't you're not gonna win or hesitant with this person but i felt like they would be able to convince you because of the ten of cups in here okay so this is really interesting dynamic it's a it's a good partnership, but they have baggage, okay? And then, then you've got four of cups and four of pentacles, okay? Um, all right. For some of you, I'm getting like um within four months from now or four weeks from now, um, you will meet someone who you like each other, okay? But you both of you hold back. <laughs> this is younger than you, all right? Like that, you meet this person, or it you will date this person. Um, city, like you, you they grow up in the city, very modern, and you're a bit traditional, and so your your energy, your your feelings, or your belief, it doesn't it doesn't match. Temperance, timing. Yeah, I felt like this could be a one night stand, and then you don't know whether you will level this up to a commitment. But you both like each other, so over the next. Um, four months you would be meeting someone who you like you have a strong feelings but both of you will hold back both of you will hold back like strongly you feel you like them they like you but it's just to get out of the comfort zone of the feelings for some of you you met this november month yeah this this connection it's great Okay, the, the devil card, you're physically attracted, intimate, lust, desire, but both of you are holding back. So 
I don't think this would last. If if you guys were dating in the in the last next year, this is your first quarter. First quarter, January, February, March, you would have this person. There's a lot of holding back. But, you know, um, underneath, there is a feelings and interest that's wanting to come out between the two of you. In those four months, if it doesn't go exclusive, then I'd say it's a, um, what is that term in English? It's a uh, vacation romance kind of thing, yeah. If you survive the four months, then there's a potential that this person would, you know, would let their guards down because there's strong attraction. Like I'm seeing four of four of pentacles and four of cups in here. It's it's more of I'm holding back because I want this person to confirm. Like you're holding back because you don't this person is holding back because they don't want to get hurt. So they're more of, if you admit that you like me first, then I will let my guard down. That's what I pick up with this person. So if, if you are in this scenario next year, then you really need to be blunt with this person because they, they've been hurt, they've been stabbed, they've been, I don't know, third party. They've been, yeah, a lot of walls, all right? They're trying, but it will take a bit of time to get into them. Like, you know, I don't want to be rejected, so let me... Let Gemini admit their feelings to me and then I could lay down my cards. That's the thing. It's like playing safe. Okay? So this is you, Gemini. It's a really good reading for you. I hope you like it. I hope it resonates with you. I hope it gives you some clarity in a situation where you are. And um, I hope I get a like, a subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell. And I will see you soon again, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.